SQA Higher Maths Recurrence Relations topic, lesson number four, solving recurrence relations to find A and B. So we know a recurrence relation is defined by UN plus one equals AUN plus B. So here we're giving, given the value of U1, U2, and U3, and we're asked to find out the value of A and B. So rather than being given the recurrence relation, we need to find it given U1, U2, and U3. So what can we do here? Well, I know the U2 will be A times U1 plus B. So substituting in those values, 35 will be, or 35 equals 10A plus B. <clears throat> in a similar fashion, we can look at what U3 is in terms of U2. So U3 would equal A U2 plus B. So substituting in. 47.5 would equal 35a plus b. So what we have here is a pair of simultaneous equations in a and b. So as always with simultaneous equations, we will label them 1 and 2. The coefficient of b is already equal, so we don't need to what we'd call scale the equations. We don't need to do any doubling or tripling to make the a's or b's equal because the coefficient of b is already equal. So they're both positive, so we're going to subtract them. What would be a sensible thing to do here would be to do equation 2, subtract equation 1, just to keep the values positive. So 47.5, subtract 35 is 12.5. 35a, subtract 10a is 25a. So we have, from doing equation 2, subtract equation 1, we have 12.5 is 25a. Divide through by 25, A will be 12.5 over 25, which is just one half. So again, we're just solving a pair of simultaneous equations here. We know the value of A is a half, just substitute into equation one or equation two. I'm gonna go for equation one because the numbers are nicer. So 35 equals 10 times one half, 10 multiplied by one half plus B. Well, 10 halves are five, so B is gonna be 30. 30 plus five equals 35. So we are going to now have a go at exercise 5i, just the evens. So that does mean 1b, 1d, 1f, 1h, etc. Not just numbers 2 and 4. So every other part of number 1. 